What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. Today, I will be teaching you guys my full process of making a cartoon head inside of Adobe Illustrator. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, Bruh. make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, the first thing I do is go ahead and set the size of the paper I will be drawing on. You just come up here, click new. And my favorite size to draw on is 18 by 18 inches. So after I do that, click create. Then I go to my desktop and I find the picture that I want to use. And I just drag and drop it. I do that. I zoom out. Then I scale it down to size by holding shift and alt. Okay, once I get it to the right size I like, I drop the opacity on the image. Then I lock that layer and create a new layer above it. Then I come over here. This option I'm finna do right here will only work if you have a digital tablet with the stylus little pen you see. You gotta have a digital tablet for this to be able to work. If you're using your mouse, you cannot set your pressure sensitivity on your mouse. So you gotta get your digital art pad like a Wacom or something like that. So look, this is what I do. To set my pressure sensitivity, I just click this. Click OK. Come right here to pressure. And I set it to three. And I'm not using any like bulk brushes or none of that. That's all I do. I just set my pressure sensitivity and it'll automatically give me this style of brush you see me using on all of my videos. See? It's just where you press hard, it'll give you like a thick line. Then when you press light, it'll go smaller. Yeah. Okay, after you set your pressure sensitivity, what I do is... I proceed to do the line work. What I'm finna do, I'm finna copy and paste some of the hairs on his face and then we're gonna do some fillings. All I did was, I went over here into my selection tool, I grabbed a good portion of it, and then you wanna click a piece of the hair and click Alt, hold Alt, and just drag it over. And this about this is technique right here, I'll buy you some time. Just gonna come around and just fill in. Thank you. 
right here i'm making my brush size bigger so i can cover a lot of ground when i'm filling in color Okay, now that we finished with the line work, we got everything looking looking nice. What we're going to do is we're going to merge all these lines. So what you want to do, get your selection tool, highlight everything. Then you want to come over here to object, expand appearance. Then you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge. See all our lines became one. I'm gonna grab your line work layer and drag it to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy of it. And then you wanna lock the top layer. Now we finna pick a good skin tone. Let's see. come over here to your rectangle tool after you pick your color you want to drag that color over your line work okay now you want to right click the color and go to arrange and send to back so we can send the color behind the line work now we want to click yeah, select everything together one more time then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so we can make the color one with our line work now you can right click onto it go to isolate select group now we can start coloring and everything another thing i like to do is lock all my black line work so I, every every color that I'm trying to color that's around the black won't get accidentally get selected. So what we finna do? We finna lock all our black line work. So you want to come over here to your layers, and you want to click this little drop down menu. Click it again. Stroll. Just keep strolling down. Until you see the last black line. Okay. You need to stroll up some. I stroll too far. Okay. The last black line. So what you want to do? You want to lock all these layers. You can just hold the left the left button on your mouse. You can hold that and stroll all the way up. And what it's gonna do is gonna lock all the black layers. Okay. Let's keep strolling up. But don't lock these two, don't. And after you do that, you wanna close it. And now we can click this direct selection.
and it won't accidentally click our black line work. Now that we got a good base color, we're gonna go in and do our shadows. So what you wanna do, you wanna lock this layer, create a, a new layer in between, get your selection tool, and click the skin. And you just wanna find a good shadow. On this part right here, I am merging the beard so I can drop the opacity down on his beard. 